we have seen a lot of methods to solve homogeneous systems of linear differential equations. Time to move on to non-homogeneous systems. There are quite some solution methods, all with their pros and cons. In this video we will mention four of these methods and we will discuss two of them a bit more extensively. So, see the idea? We have x prime equals a times x, where a may depend on time, plus some g of t, because now we are moving on to non-homogeneous systems. Well, in principle, you can do this as follows. First, solve the homogeneous part, gives you a homogeneous solution. Then, find some particular solution of the problem x prime equals a times x plus g of t, and then the total solution is the sum of the homogeneous and the particular one. Some methods use this and sometimes you, when you are solving you get the total solution at once. So let us take a look at some solution methods. Uh, well if A is constant we can have, uh, we can use three methods. Uh, we can use diagonalization. We will look into that a bit further. You can have the method of undetermined coefficients. Uh, you can use a Laplace transform if A is constant. Uh, that works well in the sense that you transform your differential equations into algebraic equations. You can solve these algebraic equations, that will now be a matrix equation, and then you have a solution x of s. And then of course the normal problem you have to transform back. So that's the disadvantage of the uh, Laplace transform. First steps work like wonder, but then you still have to transform back. And fourth method, if it's not constant, you can use variation of parameters, which is a bit uh, technical, requires quite a lot of uh, integration. So that's the problem there. But you can do with, deal with more problems. So what about the first two methods? What's the idea? If A is diagonalizable, A equals PDP inverse, what's the plan? If X equals a times x plus g, this is a, multiply with p inverse as usual on the left. So you have here d times p inverse times x, and you also get a p inverse over there. So your problem becomes y prime equals d times i plus uh, a vector, uh, say call those components h1 and h2. What happens if you write down in the components, you have y prime equals lambda 1 times y plus h1 and y2 prime equals lambda 2 times y2 plus h2. So now you have decoupled two problems. So instead of a system of differential equations, you now have two uh, differential equations uh, which are uncoupled and you can solve them separately. So that's the idea. So now you can use all your methods you have for um, uh, scalar differential equations. So that's the idea of diagonalization. That uh, method B, the determined coefficients, will do a very fast example. If you have something of the following form, so if your uh, vector g of t is of the form um, b times e to the power 2t, what you can do is first solve the homogeneous problem, so find your homogeneous solution, and then find your particular solution using a trial solution, like an un uh, unknown vector a, so there we have our undetermined coefficients, those undetermined coefficients now become vectors. So undetermined vector a times e to the power 2t. Plug it into a differential equation. So uh, x uh, prime becomes 2 times a times e to the power 2t equals a times x plus uh, the given uh, uh, b times e to the power 2t. And then uh, you cancel factors e to the power 2t. And you are left with a problem of the form a uh, times a minus 2 times a equals minus b, which you can rewrite as a matrix equation over here. Notice you know the b. So now you have a problem of the form matrix times unknown factor is a factor you know, so you can use your linear algebra to figure out what this factor a should be. So in this case, uh, this method would work like a charm probably. So that's the idea of the method of undetermined coefficients. You get the correct solution, Find in this way your particular solution, and then you add it to your homogeneous solution. So uh, those are uh, four methods, all with their pros and cons. Uh, we looked a bit more into the first two, uh, but for uh, some other problems, 
methods C and D. Also, maybe better choices.